Sweet. So, yeah. The series is definitely progressing. Yeah, slowly, um, sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have a couple colonies out. It's mm-hmm. already, you know, about an hour play in. Yep. Um, how, what time, how much time is progressed? A couple of years? Um, yeah, about a year. That's just a year? A year or two years. It's okay. a very slow game. It goes by days. So, what would be the end of the mid-game? Or the start of mid-game? The start of mid-game is once you start having four or five colonies per, uh, well, it depends. Different people call mid-game at different points. Some people like to state that mid-game is very long, as far as has a massive mid-game. Those are the guys okay. who state that, you know, four or five colonies, ah, oh, you're in mid-game now. I like to think that mid-game really starts right around when you start having constant contact with other alien civilizations, and you start boarding war. That's uh, when you're pushing on each other. Pushing on each other. And it's, and it's really your half. So, end-game is, well, building utopia projects. End-game is building these megastructures. Right. But that's a whole other thing. A whole other can of worms to yeah. get into. Uh, it's also achieving, you know, getting towards global, global domination, setting up these uh, hegemonies and that sort of thing, and really okay, right. building massive federations. Gotcha. That's it. That's late game. That's late game. Yeah. Mid games where you begin to get a couple of federations. So in terms in there. of time, what do you expect to happen? Or is in Solaris the, the timeline so drastically? Timeline can dra- drastically vary in Solaris, but usually mid game takes 15, 20 years to get there. Okay. Which it might be a quick 15, 20 years if you're a technological back, backwater in the middle of nowhere off the edge of the universe, or it might be a very slow 15, 20 years with a lot of war in it if you're in the middle and having to constantly fight off invaders. Well, we'll certainly pick it up uh, next time on our YouTube series <laughs> um, uh, for contact with us. Um, but we are live streaming this right now on Twitch, uh, yep. and I would anticipate that further live streams will be available on Twitch uh, yep. in the near future. So uh, stay tuned for that. It'll be fun. Moving through our Twitch stream. Uh, We have a new decision to be making in science today. It's our society research. We can choose which tile blockers to get rid of or terraforming. We don't need to terraform. We're a filthy robot. We can go wherever the shit. We just need to clear the crap out of the way. So I'm going to go look over here at, at, at these planets I've been acquiring. Yes, it's telling me an alert that I didn't do the thing. Uh... I noticed that we have both volcanoes and dangerous wildlife, which are the two things we can clear. I, however, noticed, if you look at it a little bit longer, I have far more dangerous wildlife than I have volcanoes. No, it's even uh, no, three, three to two. Well, there's also minerals under. There's minerals under these. This is science. I could use it. I could really use it. But it also costs more to, to clear that. 100, 100. This is only, I don't know. They fixed that. It used to be that these guys would be like 150 both, oh, okay. and this would be 100 both, because it's only wildlife. Uh, but now they appear to make all things universal, which means I actually... Who knows what's the, t- the tile block? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. um, I'll actually do the deep press engineering, because I could use that engineering research, just right, to speed so this engineering project along. As you'll notice, we're now at 16 months, because we picked up a lot of engineering research. This used to be 40. Um, it's not that that much time has passed. It's that our research has progressed. Um, the fact that it's gone up to six six uh, percent here that it's just he's got better. gained. Yeah. Okay, a little bit better, and our research size has gotten bigger. Um, is it possible to just to change the people who work on the stuff? Yep, um, I can totally um, do that. You can make okay. a raft of scientists and flip them around. Because uh, we did our, our one really good guy Y five. Yeah, and uh, we could go throw him over there, and we could throw him to the top priority. Yes, we could do that. Um, it's going to take a lot of micromanaging, and I don't really want to do that right now for the bit of a benefit we'll make. Okay. Um, but seeing as this is a much lower priority project, and it's going to take 70 months no matter what I do, even with this dude on it, I, I'm i actually considering doing that. I don't want to blow your brain right here, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to see if there's any good society guys left around. I got a statecraft dude on that boat, the statecraft dude here. And a biology dude there. Biology is basically useless to us because we're not biological. Statecraft is basically useless to us because we already have a statecraft. We already guy. have a statecraft guy. We, and we don't really want to do we that. We could do a, th- a three movement around. We could do now. a three movement around, or I recruit this piggy dude because he's a cyborg, and that uh, benefit is a five percent raw research speed. Okay, it's cheaper. It's cheap. Do you need this for anything else? I mean, it's too late. Not really. Okay. Not at the moment. I could use it for colonies it's later. It's now for 77 months. Now so, you use the really good guy to yep. take out the 
the bigger target. We'll take out the bigger target, and we're going to take that to 13 months down from 16. Awesome. That's three more months, and we're going to be building more engineering as we go here. Uh, what do we do with the guy that was out of place? The guy that's out of place is just sitting around at the moment. He don't got no job. That means I can go down here. Uh, but he's doing would, nothing. Would he be but better on the ship? But he's an expertise industry. No, he wouldn't be any appreciably better than the other dude on the ship. They'd both be terrible. Oh, um, okay. Because they're just three stars. That's all they get for the bonus. Three star. That's it. Okay. Um, not bad, but not great. Um, what I could do here is now look into my thing. Nope, more greens. Uh, I was just going to look to see if now now my research pool my uh, my uh, yeah, you got recruiting pool What's the little flag? good. Huh? The little flag in green. That the bottom one. Oh, that's a uh, new world. It's uh, tile map clears and all that stuff. It's the thing we're researching right okay. now. Um, because of course it's yeah. messing with me. I'm just going to leave him there because expertise in industry is good. There okay. will be physics stuff for industry. So like um, T four, he's he's going. Yeah, he's just going to sit there on a shelf for the moment. T four is just sitting on a shelf until we need to go to a very large war and need two admirals. Unfortunately, we didn't write down at what age we purchased. T4. I think he was twelve. Probably, he was yeah, around ten is. Ten, yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. I don't know. I could probably. You know, for how, how many centuries later? How many we, centuries later we, does he we, finally receive a command? All right, I'm going to start telling this dude to start mining things in here because we can. I'm going to go with foreign energy, free mineral, and then just make the logical progression around. And then one of those. All right. Now I told it, to, I did shift and control at the same time to tell it to prioritize this engineering research right here. It's something you can do to change the priorities of the uh, things you clicked. As you notice, I clicked that one first, then this one, and then this one. But suddenly we're going to this one first. That's because I control shifted. To tell it to, sh to shift the priorities around. I hear you. I you have no idea. It's voodoo. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I w I will not retain that. So I know you. Clearly, will. we need an article up that's just like yeah. here are all the 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 silly little keys. There are per plenty of things. The paradox forms, which I strongly recommend. Are, there, are they deep in the forms or like up in uh, a wiki? There's or? up in a wiki. There's some things deep in the forms, and there's plenty of things on YouTube. But I'll uh -huh. certainly make my own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, straight from small places. Having probed the frozen landscapes, the moon of Algorva, VA, we think we have struck something big. Science officer unit R1, at least it's not R2, speaks of a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other individuals to form blankets that are durable yet light, and also acts like a solar cells. They absorb solar energy in surprisingly low efficient. Uh, sufficiency loss percentage, most likely the result of evolution favoring those who could gather more heat in the harsh climate. Our researchers back home should surely find some use for this information. We could either use this to try and improve energy production or try to find a military use. It's clearly energy production. This is a true case. Most times when I'm playing Stellaris, I'm just going to say military use. Cree, cree, cree. But, but because we need energy to both fuel our navies supply our bases and, and supply our population we actually do need energy production like crazy so yes see i clicked the other button for once now we get plus five percent uh, energy credits nation uh empire wide oh pretty good this is great i'm just going to take a quick little peek around the empire to see what's up looking back home put the pig over there one more mineral atom Yes, I'm poking pigs. Yeah. Poking this is the home world. This is, this is the Primus home world. one. Yeah, the Primus one. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm going over to Antilles Primus and just seeing how the production is going. He's most of the way done with that little blue bar. This was that beautiful to world that you're now... No, that's the high-quality mineral world. Ah. We didn't go towards the beautiful world. We're, we're leaving, leaving it there. there. Yeah. Oh, well, no, it's already in my space, you see. Oh, okay. Over here. I could study it and get for sociology. Not yet. I'm not bothered with that yet because it's sociology research and I don't need that as drastically as I need engineering. So I'm going to first develop this thing, Hellenbeck. And as you'll notice, yes, I have now expanded my warp capability, my wormhole capabilities. We can go all the way out to here now. What's broom singularity? That's a wormhole. Black hole. Black hole. Sorry. I keep wanting to make things wormholes. That's that's really beautiful. It's really sexy. And it has the little moon cluster picture. 
Yeah, and it's got a little wound next to it. It's really nice. Hopefully, it will have some form of research on it. They tend to. Okay. Just to alert you guys to that one. I'm going to tell this little dude to keep surveying. Because I can just stack orders on him, and he'll obey. That will just tell, keep him busy for the next... Oh, God knows how long. <laughs> okay. Finally, at long last. That Unity stuff. That Unity stuff. We get another... Uh, Unity pick, and I'm going to pick Drone Network because build speed increased by 20 is pretty good, and it leads to the Bulwark Harmony, which is amazing. So here we go. Also, if you finish up one of these um, tradition tracks, you will unlock an Ascension perk slot, which allows you to get something that's truly amazing to modify your empire. We don't have any yet, but here's just a brief idea of what they smell like. Interstellar Dominion. Your border range increases by 25%. Oh, yeah. All of them are going to have different kinds They're of They're all really good. This Some of them require different just things. your perks? Or this you... is your ascension perks. This is you filled out an entire tradition. You get one of them? You get one for the first one. I think you, you there's things that will allow you to get more than one. Uh, and then you get to choose and pick different ones, and you can tree these as well. So that's after you finish the, the basic mm -hmm. tree, you just keep going for more of these. Yes. Okay. I think uh, you get these perks, and you can treat the perks over here, and you get to keep going through these different things to get more perk slots to treat them. So you need to keep getting. A, I need to keep getting branch different branches get and pieces. So, your so perks I'm are limited yes. to what they have there. Yes. You will have seven perk slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, so you have eight. Eight. Once you finish all your seven, but yeah, I think that gets you another one. Yeah, I think that's how it works. I'm not too sure. So out of them, them you probably got to pick which ones you want. Yes. I'll get to that when we actually have an ascension perk. Okay, but what so I'm going to tell you couple, is, the couple of episodes from now, yeah, so several. Yeah. Uh, but how I'm, how this is going to basically go is, I'm going to start with synchronicity. I'm then going to aim at supremacy because we could very, very dearly use the borderlands uh, expansion as well as all the gun clicking goodness, uh, because eventually we will actually have to fight wars and things because the entirety of the galaxy will hate us because we're trying to assimilate them. Yep, that seems fair. Yeah. Unless we find a similarly minded robot, in which case we might be able to make a deal. The word is mine. As you've noticed, our borders have swelled so massively. In the area that you really wanted. Mm hmm. Yeah. There we go. Improved spaceport. That wasn't hard. Aha! Now you see the point of having the industrial dude. The so machine now you templates. Can switch out some people. I'm going to switch out some people, don't worry. Uh, but the machine templates here are also industrial. If that makes any sense. That's the things we use to make ourselves better. Uh, now they're all industrial. Now they're all industrial, which is really good. Now I've got to sit here and pick which one I want. I want the Barithian refinery because that allows us to build yeah, yeah, a Barithian power plant. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been yep. wanting that. Mm -hmm. um, We've been wanting that for so a while. So which guy's better? This dude. Uh, no, no. Look at uh, Y9 first. Y9 first is 18%. Okay, now look at the other one. 21. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, Y9 is a generalist. That's what this comes out to. I'm now going to flip... Uh, Y9 or back He's to back society. To yep. And then that piggy, I might think about flipping up to physics just for now because they have that raw 5% and I want to give him some more XP. Oh. And because it's going to be a month anyway. Yeah. Um, should we think about uh, getting another exploratory ship? Hmm? Another exploratory ship. Might like be that. a good idea with this sort of a build. But first, I'm going to look at this. I'm, I'm going to get fusion power because I need more power in my Corvettes to make them actually useful. So I'm going to go back to ship designer because we've unlocked a couple of things, I think. Have we? Oh, so. oh no. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> um, go look through here. I'm going to upgrade my spaceport. That was it. Dude had something to do with ships. Uh, yeah, sure. You play that one off. <laughs> uh, my asshole assistant is being an asshole. Who knew? Um, and now I'm going to look into the possibilities of building on a science ship. The problem is, we don't have all that much space actually open to us right now. Alright, alright. What we could do is give our construction ship a little cue to go build a thing over here or down there and keep expanding. I actually like the idea of moving this tutorial expanse down here just because I've so noticed... which one do we want to build into for that expanse? I don't know. Oh, to reach the expanse, I would go with Donatar here because the circle the will will collapse to the side. 
Uh, it's a bad thing to get flanked with this sort of wormhole technology. It, it just feels bad when out of the blind So that's, that's just a purely tactical... Purely tactical. Go as far as you can, down the edge. Yep. All right. Beam around, and this is just seeking out places to figure out stuff. Um, I'm actually going to build a second construction ship because I have a lot of things to build. I'm going to build that before I build the science ship, but I'm going to queue them both right now. The spaceport will upgrade first and then do the rest. I'm going to go over here and upgrade this little spaceport, give it the energy credit things because we have at plus three while colonizing, which is a lot of energy credits. Usually while colonizing, you get a bit of a deficit. Yeah, We're sense. making so much energy, we don't we don't get no deficit. Deficit? What deficit? No deficit spending. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, good. My construction ship has done its job up there. I'm going to now tell him to go down here and build a wormhole station. No, I don't know why I'm tell calling my machines he's. They should probably be it's, but I feel like it anyway. <clears throat> 